Marquette, marketing manager for our Agco Hay Tool lineup in North America. We last left off with you in an in a energy sorghum field in Venor, Tennessee, running our WR series windrower and our 2200 series large square baler. Now I'm back here with Megan as she's had the opportunity to research and compile results. And Megan, maybe go ahead and introduce yourself as well as explain the process that you went through for this data. Okay. Um, as Kyle said, my name is Megan Chedden and I'm with the University of Tennessee and we are working with the Southeastern Partnership for Integrated Biomass uh, Supply Systems and uh, ultimately our goal is for to find economic solutions to current problems that limit feedstock production and logistics. Um, so with this specific study in Vaughn, North Tennessee with the biomass sorghum, we were looking uh, at field efficiency and how that impacts um, the operational productivity. So I uh, attained the data by the Ag Command telemetry system as well as GPS-enabled units um, inside the tractors. Great. That's good to hear. Definitely appreciate that entire process you guys have gone through. Um, excited about some of the results that you have seen now and we've been able to share and discuss. Quick question though, as far as um, overall in the field, what was your opinion as far as, um, I guess, initial viewing impact of seeing the WR series and the 2200 series? It was pretty impressive. Um, we did harvest an 18 and a half foot tall crop and we were going almost seven miles an hour um, on average. So it was uh, pretty impressive that we could harvest that material at the rate that we did. That's a good point. So really overall capacity of the machine is very impressive to see. Yes. Good, good to hear. But with that, I think we're definitely going to dive more into the details now as far as the numbers, really focusing on field efficiency, okay. uh, machine performance, as well as the overall cost analysis for both WR Series Windrower and the Large Square Baylor. Okay. Okay. So with that, let's go ahead. We're going to take a little bit deeper dive and see exactly um, some of the big, big numbers that stand out from this field study. So let's touch a little bit more on the cost analysis side. Okay. Um, with the sorting, as you mentioned, 1,450 pound bale average. Yes. Uh, typically, from what I guess feedback we received, uh, sorghum is more on average about 1,200 pounds per bale, just okay. normal operation in the past. So at that extra 250 pounds, um, it, it sounds like, I mean, Tell me if I'm right, 295 tons was our total harvest, is that right? Right, total harvest weight. Okay, and how many how many trucks wound up putting up that 295? 16. So 16 trucks, and how many bales? 25 bales bill? per truck. 25 bales per truck on mm -hmm. 16 trucks, carried 295 tons. So that resulted in then, it sounds like 400 bales. Right around that. Mm -hmm. Right around 400 bales. So, if it was only a 1,200 pound bale, instead of 1495 uh, that would have resulted in more bales that would have been put us basically right at 500 bales yes which means if you're doing 25 bales per truck that means we're looking at four extra truck loads am i thinking right yep okay That'd be 20 trucks 20 trucks which means then transport savings if you go from 16 to 20 sounds about a 20 percent difference in your transport yep. costs very good so that is huge. Um, once again, that's going to vary on the truck itself, I'd imagine. Right. The, the, the length labor, of the trailer, the labor. Mm -hmm. Length of the trailer, very good point. Um, and then obviously fuel too. Right. But basically whatever the total of all those are per truck load, we just save them four of those. Correct. And save them 20% of that overall. Very good. It's big so, cost savings. That is. Transportation is a very good point. I think you guys start to analyze that more and more mm -hmm. it sounds like but yep. you're seeing a lot of either hits or misses on the cost savings part on transportation yep. perfect 
Okay, that's definitely insightful. We appreciate that. Maybe to finish off, Megan, um, tell us where we can actually go more to look at more of this uh, information on our own time if we'd like to. If you want to look at more information about this, you can go to the IBIS website that you see at the bottom of your screen. Okay, very good point. Appreciate it. Also, uh, Agco wise, as far as learning more about biomass and the products we offer to help out with these type of operations, you can either go to Heston.com, MassyFerguson.com, or also challenger-us.com to look more at the Agco Biomass Solutions that we offer today. Uh, or the other option, go in, talk to your local Agco dealer and try to schedule a demo, get a quote, whatever's needed to make sure uh, you're good to go for future biomass use in your area. But with that, thank you and we'll see you next time. Oh.